and welcome, it's Amethyst Rune Witch here. I'm going to be talking about witchcraft and the law within the UK and the USA. Um, you know, most prevalent there. So let's have a look at the USA first. Now, currently in some states, there are laws against tarot readings, fortune telling, other divinations, but that's to protect gullible residents within those states from con artists. So it's not against witchcraft, it's actually anti-fraud. And that's the big difference between those, is that it's not against witchcraft, it's just used to be against witchcraft, when in reality it was meant to be anti-fraud. As a practicing pagan, um, it's important to know the rights that you have as an employee, a parent, and if this applies to you, within within the military as well. Now, back when the Salem witch trials were happening in 1692, Salem wasn't part of the USA. The USA wasn't a thing then. That came 80 years later, in the 1770s. Because it was a British colony. It was during the British colonial history. And from everything I've read, no one in America was actually burnt at the stake for being a witch. But there are some positives within the law of the USA. In the, in the 1980s, the District Court of Virginia recognised witchcraft as being a le valid, legitimate religion. This was then taken to federal court and upheld. So those who wanted to want to practice witchcraft have the same constitutional rights as other belief systems, as the bigger belief systems. So if you're within Virginia, have a look into it. You might be surprised. Now, Within the UK, it's a bit different because it's it, it's very, very different because in in nineteen fifty one there was a repeal made of the witchcraft laws from June 1653. That repeal made practicing witchcraft much easier, but the 1653 witchcraft laws weren't the earliest laws in existence. Because in 15, 1541, King Henry VIII made witchcraft punishable by death. If you were accused and found guilty of being a witch or practicing witchcraft, you were gone you were gonna go. There were no ifs, no buts, that was it. But then in 1562, when Queen Elizabeth I was queen, she passed a law that made witchcraft only punishable by death if harm had been caused. If you hadn't caused harm, you'd just be imprisoned. In 1563, there was the Act Against Conjurations, Enchantments and Witchcraft. Obviously that would have made being a practicing witch much, much harder. And it's the very next year, in 1564, when the very first English witch trial occurred, which was the Chelmsford Trials, when four women stood accused of witchcraft. Um, three, two were found guilty to some degree. Agnes Waterhouse was hanged. Joan Waterhouse, who was either her mother or her sister, uh, mother or daughter, one of the two. Um, she was Joan was found innocent. Elizabeth Francis or Francis, she was sent to jail, so she would have been found guilty of witchcraft, but not of causing harm. And then there's Laura Winchester, and I can't find any information about whether what what her sentence might have been, whether she was found guilty or innocent. Now it's another fifty years, almost fifty years, until the next big 
trial happened, which was the Pendle Witches, where 11 people, two men and nine women, were accused of witchcraft, and just one of them walked away with their life. The other 10 were found guilty and were hanged. Now, again, a hundred years later, in Hertfordshire, we had the last witch trial, which is very, very important because this this lady, Jane Wenham, was accused of having a familiar, talking to it, with it, talking with it, and she was found guilty and given the death sentence. She was sentenced to hang, but she was pardoned by Queen Anne. Jane went on to live until 1730, so she lived another 18 years. She's the last person convicted of witchcraft within England. And Jane Wenham's pardon was seen as the end of the witch trial era. The witch trials lasted around about three centuries, 300 years. But those 300 years were full of political social and economical upheaval so it's it's quite interesting to see that over 300 years we went from death penalty to if harm has been caused death penalty if not you go to jail and then the hysteria that followed was up and down but witchcraft is actually now legal in the UK so I hope that's given you some info for today. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope to see you again. I shall hope to see you again next week. Please don't forget though, if you liked this video or you know would like to share it, please do. There's the like and subscribe buttons. You can also share it. Share it, do please. And if there's anything you'd like, there's a particular topic within witchcraft that you'd like me to cover, please do suggest it in the comments. I will read and see every single one of them and I will reply. I can promise you that I will reply. But I shall hope to see you next week. Stay safe everyone and blessed be.